Jim Barry would never have gotten elected in Baltimore City, in my opinion. What? Why you say that? Well, because again, I think that 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 when people outside of DC, man, how you guys are laughing stock. You re-elect a man who was caught on worldwide TV smoking a crack pipe. Yeah, but that was his problems, his demons. He had, he had credit. He had credit. He endeared himself to the people. That's right. He made more black millionaires <laughs> and brought black people to the table in Washington. It wouldn't be a Prince George's County without him in many ways. It wouldn't huh? be a Bob Johnson without Bob. him. Hello. Yeah, that's for sure. That's right. <coughs> you, I'm going to tell you who would have done that here. Du Burns. Yeah. 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 He was the best. Du Burns was the Dumbo. best possible. People didn't elect him. They didn't elect See? him because they had that image problem. They That's wanted right. to get somebody they, that, they that looked good. And do we think the white man's yeah. ice is cold? Is that what it is? Well, is that what's wrong with Baltimore? Always, then it's still there. I thought ice was free. The, you're the science me, teacher. Du Burns used to take me around with him before the development of the Inner mm -hmm. Harbor mm -hmm. and all of that. Du Burns. Come on, Mike. One of the smartest on. politicians right. okay. I've ever seen, and I was with the White House. Mm -hmm. But these black folks, and I'm going to say this, I heard him say, he said, all right. Mm -hmm. Du Burns knew exactly what he was doing. He oh. didn't kiss Schaefer's behind. No, he did du not. Du Burns said he wanted him out of there so he can move up, so he could help the people. And okay, so, but then he didn't win. We <laughs> voted for yeah, Schmoke. Because That's you're right. brainwashed. That's right. Like the I'm brainwashed. Like the I was just a little kid. No, I'm just saying, I'm just saying <laughs> people brainwashed. I him. voted for Duke Burns. Like the gentleman <laughs> was saying. But he lost. And then Schmoke yeah, came in. He was I, I worked for Schmoke and, and voted for Duke. <laughs> well, you know, I'm I'm sure one of the things we have is that <laughs> No, problem. Mr. Schmoke would like the, this one. The, the image problem. Yeah. Kirk came in. I know Kirk personally. Yeah, Kirk came in as the... The Yale graduate, right. this type of thing, and everybody wants to see that in the in the black man, you know, mm -hmm. the successful black man, the Yale graduate, this type of thing. Do was a grassroots person. So what you tell me? Education is bad. I can go get an education, but then I can't serve my community. But no, you know, or it's a know, certain kind of education. Education plus wisdom plus common sense. Yeah, a lot of folks can go to school, but do they have common sense? sense. Do they have skills? Do they have leadership qualities? Can, what do they sell common enough, sense at? Are they bold enough to what, stand up and tell the truth? Oh, oh courage. What do they, they sell at courage at? Mondam and Mall. <laughs> Charlie Rudo. <laughs> $24.99. Okay, let, let, let's get your name. Let's get an intro. Tell me your name, Sensei. I mean, one of the biggest fools in the world is an educated fool. That's right. My father used to say it all the time. When I was but on my way to college, what happens when I'm smoke, I'm be scientist. careful. Hi, Don't you become no they trying to get in that studio, <laughs> Sensei. <laughs> Tell me your name, Marvin. How you doing, brother? Marvin McDowell with my box. And here's what happened with Smoke. A lot of, lot of the stuff that they put out on him, they didn't put his pictures on a lot of flies. And a lot of people thought that Smoke was a white guy. Okay. Sensei. Well, we in big trouble. We in trouble. We in double big trouble. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Education is a strong piece. But they're not pushing education in the street now. They're pushing, like you said, the iPods, the telephones, mm -hmm. crazy food. Mm -hmm. And then Christmas crazy. coming up, and people about to uh, lose their minds. What, what's, what's the message, Coach? Christmas coming up, and people ain't paid for last Christmas. <laughs> Y'all know it's true. I always say, man. Little kid coming home with D's man, and C's. how much money you have or you don't have, my philosophy has always been just live a little bit under your means. A little bit under your means. And... You know, if you want to go out and, and buy certain things, that's fine. But use disposable income, not the rent money. You know, we the number one shopper in America. Did y'all know that? They call us super users. That's fine. But, but, but we don't consume enough. I mean, we don't produce anything. That's right. Look at look at where your test markets are. The test markets are in the black community. And when it comes to liquor, they I, I remember they ran an ad about some liquor that was, that was coming out. Where did they open up the test market? Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Major population, black. So right. Is there any hope, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Bellman? Well, I'm going to tell you where student. hope is. No hope that. is in any individual that decides he's not going to agree with the dual crap. I raised four kids. Not one of them is a drug addict. Not one of them has a problem. None of them has ever been to jail. Period. Why? Because they had a father there that understood this system, spoke real to them, told them what the expectations for them were going to be, not based on what some white man was saying about them, but what their daddy was saying about them. Mm -hmm. 
All right, well, I want to wish all y'all a happy Thanksgiving Thank in the good Lord's yeah, name, man. and thank you for your service. You See, you coming up on me, man. Why, why you, you coming up on my left side, man? You got babies. <laughs> you got babies having babies. That's true. They don't know anything, and they don't know anything to teach anybody. You got a 35-year-old grandmother. Keep watching bmorenews.com, the news before the news where we uncover the truth.